Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering sentences, fragments, and run ons. So, if you've watched our lessons on subjects and predicates, you'll already know that a sentence must have both a subject and a predicate in order to be complete. But more than that, a sentence must also express a complete thought. And what does a complete thought mean? Well, it means that you have all of the information you need to understand what is happening. So, again, a complete sentence must have both a subject and a predicate, and it must also express a complete thought. If a sentence is missing any one of those elements, it is called a fragment, meaning a piece of a sentence, not a complete thing. So let's take a look at some fragments. After I get home. Okay, so you might say, well, we have a subject in I and a predicate in get, right? So isn't that a sentence? Well, no, it's not, because there's not a complete idea here, not a complete thought. After I get home, what? After I get home, I'll take a nap? After I get home, I'll watch some TV? There's not enough information here as it stands for me to really understand what's going on. And because of that, this is a fragment. How about this one? In the morning, when you wake up. Again, you might be able to find me a subject, you, congratulations. And you might also be able to find a predicate, wake up, awesome. But there's no complete thought here. You'll go for a walk in the morning when you wake up? You'll eat breakfast in the morning when you wake up? I don't know. And that's the problem. So again, if you're missing a subject or a predicate, or if the sentence does not express a complete thought that you can fully understand, then you have a fragment. A run-on sentence is created when we have the opposite effect. A run-on occurs when we have multiple sentences, multiple complete thoughts, without the proper punctuation, which is usually a period. Like this. I like basketball, Amy likes swimming. There are two separate sentences here. I like basketball, and Amy likes swimming. Two complete sentences cannot, and I repeat, cannot be separated by a comma alone. To make this work, you would need the word and, or the word but, or a period, or a semicolon. A comma alone cannot separate two complete sentences like this. Okay, so let's try some. I want you to read each example and tell me if you think we have a sentence, fragment, or run on, all right? Bought it over summer break. Okay, what do you think here? Well, do I have a subject? Do I know who or what I'm talking about? No, actually, I don't. And since I don't have a subject, which is an essential part of a sentence, I already know that this is not a complete sentence. Instead, it is a fragment. Next one Carl Smith is my favorite actor. Okay, so what do you think here? Remember, to be a complete sentence, you must have a subject and a predicate, and you must express a complete thought. If you're missing one of those things, it's a fragment. And if you have too many of those things without the right punctuation, you have a run on. So what is this? Well, do I have a subject? Yes, Carl Smith. Do I have a predicate? Yes, is my favorite actor. And does this whole thing make sense? Can I fully understand what's going on? Yes. So it's a sentence. A few more. So many books in my bedroom. Okay, find the subject. You could say books, maybe. All right, well, find the predicate. Can't, right? There isn't one. We don't know what the books are doing. There's no action or condition listed with them, like the books are this or the books were that. So since we're missing something, in this case a predicate, we have a fragment. Three more. I try to read every day. It helps me relax. All right, find your subject. You actually have two here. I in the first part and it in the second part. Okay, so find your predicates. And again, there are two. Try to read every day in the first part and helps me relax in the second part. All right, so what do you think? Sentence? No. What did I just say about splitting complete sentences with only a comma? Can't do it. You cannot split complete sentences with just a comma. You can split them with a comma and a conjunction, like and or but or yet, but you can't split them with a comma alone. 
So here we have a run-on. Two more. She cried. Okay, find the subject. She, right? Easy enough. And the predicate? Cried. Also pretty easy. Okay, so it has the parts I need, but does it express a complete thought? She cried. Can you imagine that? And you might be thinking, well, it's really short. Doesn't matter. Do you need any more information to understand what's going on? No, you don't. It's a short sentence, but it is a sentence. All right, last one. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Okay, find the subject. Got two. I in the first part, and I in the second part. Predicate? Again, two. Am in the first part, and am again in the second part. All right, so it's a sentence then, right? No. Yet again, we have two complete thoughts separated by just a comma. This does not work. You can combine two sentences with a comma and a conjunction. You can do it with a semicolon. You can do it with a period. But you cannot do it with a comma alone. I'll keep saying that until you remember it forever. You cannot split two sentences with a comma alone. So here we have a run on. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or just not learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.